Hi there. I am Nutrix, and today we're looking at a new software from Roland. It's called Galaxius. It's not a synthesizer per se, but it's something that if you have any type of software from the Roland Cloud Manager, you're going to need this. It's going to be super cool. Galaxius is a way to combine all of the stuff that you have from the Roland Cloud synthesizer, drum machine, it's all there in one single place. It's faster to find any sound that you have because there's basically a massive search engine for everything that you own that is installed on your computer from Roland Cloud. And it's also a way to combine them. You've got layers, you can layer them together, you can split them on the keyboard, you can control volume, you can have effects added to them, you can have arpeggiator added to them, and you still have access to the full extent of the synthesis. This video, a quick tour of how it works, why you would like it. And another video, I'll just explain in depth how to program it to create your own, what they call scenes. Let's go. So the window itself is very simple. So you have on the two sides, you've got information. On the right side, you've got the, uh, the instrument. You can just uh, slide this if you don't want to see it. Middle section is where you have all the four different tabs to switch between the different options of the software. You've got the layers on the left. You got the ProMars here. Actually, let's create a new scene. So I've got a new scene like this here. Okay. So let's, what you see on the side, you got layer one, two, three, and four. There's different colors. And as you move between the colors, you basically see all these knobs here change colors with it here to show you that you're in the right one. When you're going to go, in, go into mix window, you see these colors. They'll be here. You got the colors here and you go into layers. You're going to see these colors. They're related to the patch or the layers you're working on. Let's go back to sound. In sound, that's where you search for all the presets. If you look here, I've got almost 22,000 presets. That's Everything I've downloaded from Roland Cloud, I've got the ultimate, I've got all the different devices here and all the different patches, the native patches, the expansion packs, everything is there. So this is a big filter section. There's, there's three different ways to filters in here. First, you can filter by patch. I'm going to click on, oh, I want this pack. And this pack here is late, it's limited to Juno 106. So I was going to see all these packs are just for this one. Uh, you can also go by, oh, I want to have analog synth. So it's going to filter out just analog synth here. And then you're going to say, which one are we going to play? And as you click on them, it changes the selection at the bottom here. Okay. If on top of that, you say, I want to have, uh, I don't know, sequence sounds, only sequenced sounds. I've got this here. If I click another one, the so these add up. I changing here is still this one stays sequence. If I click, I don't want to have I want to have choir and well, sequence choir doesn't there's nothing. It doesn't work. So if you unclick this one on and if you delete this one here and if you clear the this one and still choir, I've got nothing because I'm still an analog synth. OK, and go all here. That's it. That's why I was saying. So these are for types. This this is for if you select a pack like this, you can. And if this is for clearing the choir, the first one. So all of these add up to select the one you want. And let's say, I don't know, I'm just going to pick one randomly. I like this one, double click. If you double click and then you layer one, it loads there. And then you've got these layers. And then or you can also click on this one and then you've got by clicking on the instrument itself, you see the list of sound for this one by default, all of them, unless you have selected something. So if you like this one, perfect. It loads here. When you load one, it loads the synth engine inside it. And if you go into instrument, you have the full synth. So you, so you can have the full experience of playing with it and, and just uh, programming the sound or modifying the one that you just loaded. Sometimes when you combine in layers, you go, oh, this one doesn't do, you know, that patch was made to be played live as a single patch. Now, combining it with the others, oh, I might want to change something. That, so you can still go in and edit, you know, everything the way you want. Still, if you look back on the way this 
patch browsing system is to the one we have here is just <laughs> right now i just just for that it's a perfect way to even if you just use one synth you have access to the whole bank in a quick way and you can browse and listen and filter so it's also a discovery tool to find if you use this way and not by clicking on the synth first I found myself discovering sounds that I had that I didn't know I had. And to use Synthesizer for sounds that I didn't think of, instead of picking, oh, I'm going to take a Juno and look for a pad. I was like, I'm going to look for a pad. And oh, there's one in the XV50. Oh, it sounds cool. You know, there's one. So sometimes I would open my palette of sounds to Synthesizer that I didn't think of. It changes the process of searching for a sound instead of going through the device first you go for the sound first and it's a really cool way to do it or let's say i'm going to load a scene just like this one okay when you load your scene it loads the four different layers right into it and you see that you also have a drum here so you can layer four drums if you want but what i like the fact that you can have one drum and the others and these all together they all have what they have to do you go into mix you see that in the mix window you have the volume for all of them the filter for all of them the send there's even effects like so oh there's a pulse verb just on the drum okay pretty cool and if you go to the last one sequence you can even add arpeggiators to this there's an arpeggiator here you can use there's also if you play it Let's say I want to use this one. I could actually turn it on. So, a Pajeter does what it has to do. In the mix window, the effects you can bring them is say I want to have an effects on this one. I could say I want to have a delay on this one. And I click delay because I'm in here, effect one. Double click on this one. And then I have got effect on. Okay, that would be the logic. One extra stuff you need to understand is you have also the edit here at the bottom. And edit, you can actually assign the keys. You can say like this one here, the third one, the Juno. If I play these, it works. And if I go here, it doesn't trigger anymore because it triggers this one, this one, but not that one. Okay, because it's limited to going up to D3. That's the logic. So you can create these split mode or layer with different section. Um, and for the drum, if you turn it on, if you play, it plays the drum. got problems now playing because I'm running a QuickTime software on top of that to record my screen. So it's a lot to ask my old i7 Mac. On top of that, sometimes if I find that a, an instrument is demanding too much, I can go into the, de the device itself and look for this here, optimize for lower CPU usage or have less voices. So I found myself that in some of the sounds when I'm using full capacity of the ACB technology based software, the, the Juno, the Jupiter, all these, the ACB from Roland, they're so high end that my old i7 is just not able to, if I just click this here now. adapt it to work for you depending on how you you know just go through the device 
lower the CPU if your computer is older, but if you have a recent computer, put it to the max, it'll get the full quality of the sound and uh, make it just gonna maximize it. And at the same time, I'm running it on an old Mac. I'm running it as I'm running a screen capture app, which is demanding, and I'm not running the release version. I'm still running a pre-release version. So still gonna have some tweaks. I'm pretty sure when this is gonna be out for you guys. That's it for the quick intro. Stay tuned for another video where I deep dive into three or four different scenes to explain how it works so that you can create your own and make your own patches, massive layers of sounds. Cool. Stay safe. Have fun. Make more music. See you soon.